Bruce White was an American musician, best known as the founder, leader, main songwriter, and chief producer of the band Earth, Wind & Fire, also serving as the band's co-lead singer with Philip Bailey. Maurice White, widely acclaimed as a musical visionary and mastermind, left an indelible mark on the industry. Celebrated by Vibe as a, a visionary and by Variety as a, a mastermind, his talent and leadership were undeniable. Throughout his career, White garnered 22 Grammy nominations, securing seven coveted wins. His impact transcended individual accolades, however, as evidenced by his inductions into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Vocal Group Hall of Fame as part of Earth, Wind and & Fire, and the Songwriters Hall of Fame, a singular honor recognizing his songwriting prowess. Beyond his own band's success, White lent his genius to a diverse array of artists, including Denise Williams, Cher, The Emotions, Barbara Streisand, Ramsey Lewis, and Neil Diamond, further solidifying his legacy as a collaborative force. Other than the Cream de la Cream Awards he was also a very decorated artist who was recognized by various awarding authorities which include Musical Recognition For American Music Awards BET Lifetime Achievement Award ASCAP Rhythm and Soul Award ASCAP Pop Music Award 3 NAACP Image Awards Induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Induction into the Memphis Music Hall of Fame Industry Accolades Star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame Cultural Achievement Award of Excellence from Los Angeles Valley College Academic Recognition Honorary Doctorates from Berkeley College of Music shared with Philip Bailey Honorary Doctorates from Columbia College of Chicago shared with Philip Bailey, Ralph Johnson, and Verdine White He had a net worth of $10 million at the time of his death Personal Life of Maurice White Maurice White wasn't just a musical legend, he was also a devoted family man he embraced fatherhood to his three children, daughter Hemia and sons Cabrin and Eden, while maintaining a loving home life across his two California residences, a charming haven in Carmel Valley and a spacious four-level condo in Los Angeles. Outside of music, his passions resided on the court and the field, cheering on basketball and tennis matches. Known affectionately as Brisk to his loved ones, White shared a tight bond with his family, including his younger half-brother, Verdine, a founding member and bassist of Earth, Wind & Fire, who continues to grace the stage with the band. Their connection went even deeper, with their brother Fred joining the musical journey in 1974, adding another layer of harmony to the legendary group. Rewind to the making and beginning of Maurice White Maurice White was born in Memphis, Tennessee in 1941, music found Maurice White early. He cut his teeth playing with childhood friends at Booker T. Washington High School and honed his skills at the Chicago Conservatory of Music. Teenage trips to Chicago saw him immerse himself in the city's vibrant music scene, landing gigs in local clubs and eventually securing a coveted spot as a studio musician at Chess Records. There, White's drumbeat pulsated through the recordings of legends like Etta James, Chuck Berry, and Muddy Waters, leaving an indelible mark on the American music landscape. His talent also saw him collaborating with diverse acts like Fontella Bass, Billy Stewart, and Jackie Wilson, further solidifying his musical prowess. In 1966, Maurice White's musical path shifted gears. He traded the Pharaohs for the prestigious Ramsey Lewis trio, taking over drums from Isaac Redg Holt. White's dynamic style propelled the band to new heights, contributing to a string of hit albums like Wade in the Water and Hold It Right There, a Grammy-winning track. He explored diverse musical landscapes with the trio, from the movie album to Go In Latin, before leaving his mark on LPs like Dancing in the Street and A Mother Nature's Son. Notably, a chance encounter in a Chicago drum store introduced White to the African thumb piano, Kalimba. This sparked a new layer of sonic exploration, culminating in the first recorded instance of his Kalimba playing on the trio's Uhuru track. White's time with the Ramsey Lewis trio was a period of growth, collaboration, and musical discovery, paving the way for his future endeavors. From songwriting to earth, wind and fire, Maurice White's pivotal moment. In 1969, Maurice White embarked on a new chapter in his musical journey. Leaving the Ramsey Lewis trio behind, he teamed up with close friends Wade Flemons and Don Whitehead to form a songwriting team in Chicago. Their talents soon caught the attention of Capitol Records, leading to a record deal and the birth of their band, The Salty Peppers. The Salty Peppers achieved regional success in the Midwest with their debut single, La La Time. However, their follow-up, The Ha Ya, failed to replicate the same magic. This, coupled with White's growing musical aspirations, led him to make a life-altering decision. 
He set his sights on Los Angeles, driven by a desire for broader horizons and a deeper exploration of his musical identity. In California, White not only embraced a new city but also a new band name, Earth, Wind and Fire. This powerful moniker reflected the elemental influences present in his astrological chart, hinting at the cosmic groove that would soon define the band's sound. White's journey from the Ramsey Lewis trio to the formation of Earth, Wind and Fire is a testament to his creative restlessness and unwavering belief in his musical vision. It marks a pivotal moment in music history, paving the way for a band that would go on to captivate audiences worldwide with their infectious blend of funk, soul, and R&B. While the Salty Peppers may have been short-lived, their existence played a crucial role in White's artistic evolution. It provided him with valuable experience in songwriting, collaboration, and navigating the music industry, all factors that would contribute to the immense success of Earth, Wind and Fire. Beyond his work with Earth, Wind and Fire, Maurice White's musical reach extended to other talented artists. He lent his drumming prowess to Minnie Riperton's 1970 debut album, Come to My Garden, adding grooves to the former Rotary Connection vocalist's soulful journey. Later, White turned his production talents to Ramsey Lewis, shaping the soundscape of his 1974 album Sun Goddess. This chart-topping success, reaching no. One on both the top soul albums and top pop albums charts, cemented White's skills as a producer. He further collaborated with Charles Stepney on Lewis' 1976 LP Salango, adding another vibrant album to his production credits. White's influence wasn't just limited to his band, he helped other artists shine, leaving his mark on diverse musical landscapes. Maurice White, not only a musical titan himself but also a talent magnet, extended his creative touch beyond earth, wind and fire. Composer Magic, in 1978, White put his compositional pen to work on Yumer Deodato's studio album Love Island. While the album itself charted at number 20 on the Billboard Jazz Albums chart, it showcased White's versatility and ability to weave his magic across genres. Executive producer extraordinaire, White's keen ear and production prowess found him serving as the executive producer for the R&B band Pocket's 1978 album, Take It On Up, on Columbia Records. The album reached number 22 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums chart, solidifying White's influence on the R&B scene. Weather Report Collaboration Teaming up with the renowned jazz fusion band Weather Report in 1978, White collaborated with Denise Williams on their album Mr. Gone. Released on White's subsidiary label, Arc Records, Mr. Gone topped the Billboard Jazz Albums chart, proving the power of musical collaborations that transcend genre boundaries. Arc Records Legacy White's Arc Records became a platform for several Weather Report releases, including 830, Night Passage, and the self-titled A Weather Report, further solidifying his impact on the world of jazz and beyond. Two more gems from White's musical voyage, I Need You, another track from his solo album, Tugged at Heartstrings. It secured a spot at number 20 on the Billboard Adult Contemporary Songs chart and number 30 on the Billboard Hot Soul Singles chart, proving White's ability to evoke emotion both on the dance floor and in heartfelt ballads. Years later, in 2019, White's musical legacy continued to unfold. A treasure trove of previously unreleased recordings, aptly titled Manifestation, emerged. These carefully curated tracks, the fruits of a nearly 30-year collaboration with songwriters producer Preston Glass, unveiled new facets of White's musical genius, ensuring his music kept captivating audiences even beyond his lifetime. Beyond music, Maurice White's creative palette. Maurice White's talents weren't confined to the stage and studio. He painted his musical magic across screens and stages, composing music for films like Coming to America and A Life is Wild, and writing songs for De Gatchem and OVA. In 2006, he collaborated with Gregory Hines' brother on the Broadway musical Caught Feet, even crafting new tunes with Ali Willis. White's influence even spanned generations, with actor Khalil Kane portraying him as a young leader of Earth, Wind and Fire in the film Badass. The movie, based on Melvin Van Peebles' filmmaking struggles, showcased White's early musical journey. Interestingly, Mario Van Peebles, Melvin's son, both directed the film and played his father, adding another layer of artistic connection. And who can forget, that's the way of the world. White's composition as the theme song for the sitcom, Hearts of Fire, who earned him an ASCAP award, further solidifying his versatility and creative prowess. Solo career. Maurice White ventured into solo territory in 1985 with his self-titled debut album on Columbia. Critics praised the collection's polished production and sophisticated grooves, echoing classic earth, wind and fire while venturing into unexplored territory. 
Robin Denslow of The Guardian lauded the album's a lush dance tracks and classy vocals, while J.D. Considine of Musician highlighted White's knack for subtlety and sophistication. The album reached number 12 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums chart, propelled by a soulful rendition of Ben E. King's A Stand By Me, featuring jazz saxophonist Gerald Albright. This captivating cover climbed to number 6 on the Hot Soul Singles chart and number 11 on the Adult Contemporary Songs chart, showcasing White's enduring musical magic. Personal Life of Maurice White Maurice White wasn't just a musical legend, he was also a devoted family man. He embraced fatherhood to his three children, daughter Hemia and sons Cobran and Eden, while maintaining a loving home life across his two California residences, a charming haven in Carmel Valley and a spacious four-level condo in Los Angeles. Outside of music, his passions resided on the court and the field, cheering on basketball and tennis matches. Known affectionately as Brisk to his loved ones, White shared a tight bond with his family, including his younger half-brother, Verdine, a founding member and bassist of Earth, Wind and Fire, who continues to grace the stage with the band. Their connection went even deeper, with their brother Fred joining the musical journey in 1974, adding another layer of harmony to the legendary group. Illness and Cause of Death Maurice White remembered, a gentle passing and enduring legacy. On February 4, 2016, the world awoke to the sad news of Maurice White's passing. He peacefully transitioned in his sleep at his Los Angeles home, surrounded by the warmth of family and the echoes of a melody-filled life. Though Parkinson's disease had taken its toll at age 74, White's legacy as a musical pioneer and visionary leader of earth, wind and fire, burned brightly. His brother, Verdine, reflected on this loss with poignant words. My brother, hero, and best friend Maurice White passed away peacefully last night in his sleep. While the world has lost another great musician and legend, our family asks that our privacy is respected as we start what will be a very difficult and life-changing transition in our lives. Verdine's message conveys a deep, personal pain while reminding us of the indelible mark Maurice White left on the world. His music transcended generations, bringing joy, energy, and a message of love and unity to millions. This is a time to celebrate White's extraordinary life and mourn his passing with grace and respect. The music he created will continue to resonate, reminding us of his vibrant spirit and the boundless power of a song to touch hearts and lift souls. May he rest in peace, his melodies echoing through eternity. Tell us what you think about Maurice White in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and click on the bell notification.